Hello YouTube, welcome. My name is Fur Von Green. Um, today's video, I'm gonna be touching on my review on the Tekken 8 roster and um, just my little nit nitpicks and stuff. Uh, gonna be about like a few characters I believe that shouldn't be in the roster. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, man, share the video, and, uh, comment what you guys think. And yeah, man. Uh, Art. Okay, for starters, uh, let's basically to start off uh, my overall impressions. Uh, honestly, when I first seen the initial roster without the new characters, and um, let's say before up to. Dragnoff, Leo, and all the way down the arena before those were announced. And Steve. And Yoshi. Nah, Yoshimitsu was already announced. But yeah, before all those characters were announced, I was like, all right, whatever. Because, you know, it was a CBT, but it, it was like, whatever. And then when I finally seen the final roster, and this is before the final trailer, because the leaks, as they were true, yes, the leaks were true. Um,. I was personally disappointed because it's like i don't know like i feel like just looking at the trailer is pretty lackluster like okay we got our ogs like they're guaranteed and uh necessary in the game like we need those people especially the mishimas um i personally play mishima so doesn't um really afflict uh, me as much but there's some certain characters i honestly like fighting in fighting against in uh tekken 7 which i'm kind of disappointed that they didn't make base roster and um my uh main character uh you could uh click on i'm just gonna pop a little thing click on my uh video made it to mighty roll uh miguel my main character miguel uh i'm just sad that he's not in this base roster because it's like let's be real he he's not gonna be season one dlc like like he's not a fan favorite so he's not gonna make uh bandai namco money like ak which i don't think they're gonna bring out ak right away because they brought him out season two but personally season one like people are saying we might get legacy characters i could see it i, I feel like we won't get guest characters until a little later because they don't want it too busted they probably want the esports scene to be pretty good but there's still a, like a good variety of like characters like through popularity i believe some characters should have been in the game through like importance on story because there's some characters that still have importance on story or uh story related to like some of the main characters in the story um they didn't get included in the game oh and r.i.p my uh my boy haichi yeah r.i.p for him poor cold one for him um basically uh part two part two um I got five characters that I did not want in this game and just to pick out the first one I recently had a trailer not as recently but the one before probably already know who I'm talking about but I want to talk about Leo just before I get too much in debt I played Leo in Tekken 7 in Tekken 6 Tekken Tag I wasn't in Leo main but I've always been a Banji Kwan fan of the martial art because I played Akua in Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter was my first 3D fighting game. That and Soul Calibur. So, okay, we got a Banji Kwan like user. But honestly, the way how they really displayed Leo in this trailer, bro, Leo's just so dry. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Leo. Leo's story in Tekken 7 didn't really do much for me when I was actually getting really in, into the character, you know? I wanted to learn more about the character, but the character storyline is actually kind of dry, bro. Like, not gonna lie. I feel like we could have just left this character uh, in the past. Like, this character's not gonna do much. Uh, the character's always been mid tier to like high tiers, not, never been a bad character. Honestly, uh, Leo was more broken in season one and then got nerfed because of the i think it was the back one for i haven't played leo in a while but leo's dry i don't know man uh what, what y'all think about that i don't know um my second character he right he right back he right he right next to leo we didn't get a trailer of this man but maybe my opinion will change because they said he has a high cheese move 
The Haichu's one of the first characters I played alongside of Jin Kasama and Kazuya Mishima. And that's funny because the first time I ever even touched Tekken was Tekken Tag 2. And the only reason why I touched the game because the homies was playing it and they got stuck on the unknown boss and they knew I was good at fighting games. I played uh, Super Street Fighter 4, I think at the time. Unless Ultra, no, I think it was Ultra Street Fighter 4, maybe. I think it was in high school. Um, I was, I was like, all right, cool. I just went for the characters. Um, and I think I've seen my friend play with Jin one time. So I was like, all right, let me pick Jin. This looked like the Ryu of the series, you know? Like, I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm playing and I'm like, bro, this boss is whooping my ass. That unknown on Tekken Tag 2. And then I started realizing like all this side steps and like nothing really popped in my head like oh this like virtual fighter you know like but more more fluent like but it didn't really click to me um I didn't play Tekken 6 until I played Tekken 7 cuz when I first got Tekken 7 I got Tekken 6 for free on Xbox the Xbox version but the Xbox version is what I started on and then I converted to the PC side but um yeah, Kuma, like, Kuma's, Kuma's just the same case as Panda, bro. Like, nobody uses them. They're trash, even though Kakoma won, what was it, World Tour or whatever. Or I think it's World Tour. Uh, Kakoma won with Panda, but it's like, bro, nobody else uses that character. I played a Tekken guy, Panda, but it is like, Panda do the same shit. If you really know how to play against Panda... It's like I don't know, Panda just there, but we'll, we'll see if uh, we'll see if we'll see if Kuma um, is uh, pretty different with a uh, Haichi's move. Um, my third character, uh, Shaheem, my obvious character, you know, because um, everybody personally did not want Shaheem in this game because a lot of their mains wasn't in the game. I personally wanted Shaheem in the game. It's just the consequence of that I don't have my Miguel in the game. And it's like, okay, he fought Kazuya, but that's it. Like, the nigga's story's lame as fuck, bro. Like, there's a reason why he, they say he's born. Like, he's supposed to be, like, some type of lone wolf. Lone wolf type of shit. I don't know, bro. Like, it's just, shit's lame to me. But his his play style, I like his play style. But his play style, I can understand, is born to people. He's more simple. I'm more a defensive uh, type of player. So, he fits for me. But, nah, I, I would have I swatted his ass out of there and put Miguel in the game. You're tripping, bro. He still got some um, vendetta against um, Jin Cosma. Um, my fourth character. Yeah, my fourth character, right? Who was my fifth? Oh, my fifth character. Because I already told you about Panda. Kuma, Kuma's literally the same thing with Panda. Panda. So I covered those two characters. All right. All right. My fifth character. And this is probably controversial. It might not be controversial because everybody agrees. Because it's like why why do we have this motherfucker here why do we have dj again i know michael murray i know that's your favorite character but bro didn't y'all just give this nigga devil gen's moves bro like i'm confused but it's like all right whatever bro like i don't even have to give reasons why i don't want him in the game because it's like bro there's other characters that could have been in the game bro we don't need if it was like okay He's still Tekken 7 Jin, bro. He literally has Devil Jin type moves. What is Devil Jin gonna have? Devil Jin is just Jin Kazama's moves in Tekken 3. They made his own character. Now they're trying to make Jin Kazama the devil. What are they gonna do with Devil Jin? Unless they really trying to expand his shit. Like, I've already seen his costume. His costume is pretty cool. Like end game, you gotta see the end game, but it, it's pretty cool. But it's like, come on. And then on top of that, I'm pretty sure a lot of people noticed or heard in the CBT this man Kaja was trash, and that's my secondary character, bro. It's literally Miguel, and if I don't have Miguel, and it was Kazia. I played Kazia up to season one to three. I played a little bit of Miguel from season two to three. And took him serious like mid season three when I really just started getting comfortable with him. I still played Kazia, but just not in rank. I played him in player matches. I still got ranked up with high rank people, not high high rank, but 
at least uh Raijin, like Raijin Fuji ranks. Fujin Raijin. Went went against a couple that went against the Emperor the Emperor Lei and beat that man with my Kaji. I don't know how. I don't know how, but I beat him, bro. I don't know how, but I beat him in player match. Um my Miguel is way better. I be getting matched with true Tekken gods and shit. So that just shows that they know like I I I I be in the I mean the lab. And then all right, let's get to my wish list, man. Um I'll probably just add the picture or um, while editing it, but my number one, Miguel, obviously. I need Miguel in the game. Um doesn't matter what season. I could be patient because I could easily play Devil Jin. I can play Kazuya. I can play Jin. I could play Leroy if I really wanted to, because I kind of know Leroy. Uh, Azucena. We will see, because Howard to say he going to nerf her. If she don't get nerfed too much, then I might just main her and double gen if Kazuya's ass. And if Kazuya's not ass, then Azucena and um, Kazuya as the uh, dual pack. So I just need at least two characters. Um, I will play legally casually, because that was like one of the first characters I played uh at least get try to get to like a high rank with like a couple of these characters and i'll just uh start playing a lot of other characters uh do do something different uh this time around compared to tekken 7 where i only really played like probably five characters i played leroy and little lydia jen kazia and miguel like i stopped playing lily um after uh after I converted to PC, um, because I used to play on console. Yeah, after I converted to PC. I tried playing Harangue, but bro, I was butt with Harangue. I didn't even, I, w I was too impatient to learn him. Like, there's a lot of characters I, I actually played, but yeah, man. Um, the second character. My second character, and I'm like, I'm just going to say these characters that just, it doesn't matter what seasons. It's just my wish list um maybe when they do announce dlc i'll do a season two but this will be a season one so i need miguel um season two put anna in the game like honestly like let's be real like we need more female characters in the game I'm not gonna lie a lot of people said that and i've noticed that we really do have a lot of males in the game we do need a uh, different variety of uh, characters especially identity too um but yeah, uh, Anna for the second character, because yeah, we need another female character. She's a legacy character. People like her. I personally don't like her because she wasn't really as good in Tekken 7 when she first came out. I think she got a little buffs, but she wasn't high, high tier, but I think she was just mid tier. Um, My third character I want. <sighs> Honestly, like this might be a stretch because I know. I know with the storyline, but I want a high chi back season one. I don't want to wait no season three for no surprise. Like, give us a surprise, like, boom, a high chi's DLC, but he's like a zombie, a high chi, some, some crap. I want a high chi back just because I like fighting against a high chi, bro. Like, a high chi's like a, do a dope ass character, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Like, uh, number four. Uh, I really put too much thought into it but there is a lot of characters there's some characters i've played in the game but to say like some characters from tekken 7 just thinking about it i feel like i have two picks that i think should be season one compared to season two like some characters and honestly i got my pick so um i'm just gonna say the two characters and then i'm gonna just do quick explanations my number one is Eddie. And why I say Eddie is because Tekken 7 was the first game I got into, but Eddie was announced very last, and he was that character nobody really expected to be in Tekken 7 because they weren't saying shit about him. I believe he should be in base roster because, bro, I play a lot of Eddies online, bro. Like, this is a character that's been playing a lot. Like, this isn't, this isn't Shaheen, bro. Like, like I said, like Shaheen could get replaced. Leo can get replaced. Like, come on, bro. Like, for real, for real. And then uh, my fifth character, Lydia. How do you make one of. Uh, all right, call this controversial. Lydia is one of the greatest female Tekken designs of all time. Easily, bro. Like her prime minister background, 
her car- different type of karate. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, the bro, day one when she came out, I, bro. I don't know why I play broken characters and I just don't want to play broken characters. I'm like one of those mid tier, low tier type of guys. Like, I like to put in work. Like, you know, the Lydia, bro. I went like 10 0 with this character, bro. First day, bro. And I'm like, I just stopped playing with her because I'm like, bro, this character is so easy. Down for two, like her whole playstyle. I'm like, they make these cool ass characters, but I don't like how they make their inputs. For a good example, Noctis. I wish they made him a little bit more difficult. A lot of people will disagree, but honestly, like one one, like at least mix it up. You know, I don't know. That that's just me. A lot of a lot of characters play too similar and they be too simplified. Like. At least give, give give some characters some uniqueness. Like, oh, this character's hard. He got some shit. This characters have simple punishes, and you don't have to press as much character. But you gotta you gotta really whiff shit. Or this character got a lot of buns, but you gotta do pressure because they're really bad. Like shit like that. Like we're getting a lot a lot of a lot of clone shit. And for example, these two. Cause Vic, like, come on now, bro. Like we see these characters. And a lot of OGs, bro, probably like, bro, what the fuck? And I'm honestly seeing what they mean. Because Capcom do this shit too, bro. But instead of just reusing moves, they do it with... They do it with their storyline, the way how they add characters in certain games. And for a good example, Street Fighter V. Bro, Victor's literally Kuni, Mitsu, Noctis, Raven, bro. Like, I, I want to play with him, but it was just like, damn, it's another clone character? Like... Before the game came out, I knew it was gonna be clone characters. I'm like, they're gonna reuse some shit. And this this trailer came out, and this nigga came out with two two knives, a sword, and a gun. I'm like, what the fuck? This is not this is not CQC. What is this? Like, whatever they said his shit was, bro. Like that shit, nah, bro. Reyna, um, obviously she got the Haichi moves. I don't know if they're having the plans to make her the replacement, or it's just she trained under with uh jenkasama under with Hihaichi or her father and she just happened as his moves i hope she's not a replacement we just get like a dlc for Hihaichi or a type of hybrid or some shit but reyna um her character design i love it like you know it's kind of newer newer gen some people's kind of off-putting like older older people but like i like i like her design i personally wanted Hihaichi in the game so i'm gonna be playing reyna but it's still a good example of making new characters and just putting old characters new uh moves onto that like another example they did that shit with bruce because people brung that shit up where they got replaced i never knew what they meant until i thought about that shit there's a lot of characters that got that nigga shit and i've thought about it is brian's was brian supposed to be bruce replacement back in the day or something because for the longest i'm like okay brian be doing like kickboxing but i didn't really think brian was doing american kickboxing i thought about that shit because i'm like american kickboxing really just copies off of muay thai i mean he's basically a muay thai fighter if anything just a hybrid i'm like that's weird well what like why why do we don't have muay thai why, why, where's the muay thai fighter in this game like that's another reason why i brought up bruce like i don't know but yeah man um you already know what to do like, comment, subscribe, man. Uh, fuck you, boy, in the next video. Yeah, man. My name is Vervanga Green. And, yeah, I'm out of here.